Well, hello, my algebra students. <clears throat> so we're going to do some videos today. I have four planned for us. The first one is graphing with slope and intercept. So if it's in slope intercept form, which you should know how to do, but I'm wanting to do a little review for the first couple videos, I would actually use slope and intercept. If it's solved for y, I think it's so much easier. So, negative 3 is your y-intercept. Put a dot at negative 3. The slope is 2, so it would be up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. Or you could go down to left 1 if you wanted to. Oh, wow, I didn't hit a single point. There I go. <clears throat> Next one. Y equals 1 half X plus 2. Again, Q is the Y intercept. So I put a dot at Q. The slope is 1 over 2. Remember the top number is always how far up or down. It's positive. Up 1, right 2. Up 1, right 2. Whee! So the last one, again, the Y intercepts at 2. So I put a Dot at 2. The slope is negative 1, so it'd be down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Connect it. So I want you to do these three for me. See if you're on the right track. And then uh, freeze the video, turn it back on, and I'll do them. So the y-intercept is 2. The slope is negative 2 thirds. So I either got to go negative 2 over 3 or I have to use 2 over negative 3. Now, negative 2 over positive 3 would be down 2, right 3. 2 over negative 3 would be up 2, left 3. Whee! So this one, y-intercepts negative 4. So put a dot, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it's 3 over 1, so it's up 3. 1, 2, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. And the last one, hopefully you did very easily. Y-intercepts negative 1. The slope is 2, so it'd be up 2, right 1. Up 2, right 1. So if an equation is solved for y, and it's linear, meaning your graph is a line, I would do it that way, slope intercept. The next video is, what do you do if it's in standard form? Bye-bye.